On the West Coast, 28 distinct populations of salmon are listed as threatened or endangered under the Endangered Species Act. The Central California Coast coho salmon was first added to the list in 1996 and is now among the most endangered. This population lives at the southern extent of coho salmon's range, to the north and south of San Francisco Bay. Coho salmon spend a year and a half in the freshwater streams, really imprinting on the smells, the habitat characteristics, and then they'll go out to the ocean and spend another year and a half before they return. Historically, coho salmon were abundant along the north central California coast, supporting native, recreational, and commercial fishing. But this species has declined, primarily from habitat loss. These fish need cold, clean freshwater streams to lay their eggs, along with side channels and floodplains where young fish can find food and hide from predators. The issues are that development, agriculture, and historical logging practices have straightened rivers and streams, deforested the banks, and continue to extract lots of water for farming, watering lawns, and other uses. The water that remains can become too warm for young salmon, Climate change, extreme weather conditions like drought, and poor water quality also affect this species' ability to thrive. Under the Endangered Species Act, listed species have a recovery plan, which brings together the best science and information to determine the best recovery actions to help create a self-sustaining population. In 2015, NOAA Fisheries boosted recovery efforts for Central California Coast Coho by designating it as a species in the spotlight Species in the Spotlight will help towards recovery because it brings together new partnerships and helps leverage support through grants and additional funding. As part of today's efforts, NOAA and its partners are working with public and private landowners to monitor waterways that can still support coho salmon. Work is also underway to restore these native streams to their natural conditions. The species in the spotlight coho issue is really important here. This watershed historically supported an independent run of coho salmon. South of San Francisco, the Butno and Pescadero Creek watersheds together form one of the largest systems that Central California Coast Coho historically used. It still has high quality spawning habitat upstream, and the marsh offers highly productive feeding grounds for young salmon. However, historical land use released tons of sediment into the system, blocking Butteno Creek, and the marsh was altered and drained for farming. We've been doing work to increase channel complexity by putting in large wood. We've also been working really hard to address the sediment through work with culverts and through building the channel up. Once this marsh issue, the water quality and the mortality events are addressed, this watershed becomes a prime place, an anchor basically for coho recovery south of the Golden Gate Bridge. Another important action is supporting and expanding conservation fish hatcheries. We're collecting juvenile coho from these streams, bringing them into the hatchery to really increase their juvenile survival rates. The great thing about this program is that at the hatchery, survival rates of fish are in the 90%. If these were fish were to stay in the river their entire juvenile life stage, the survival rates would be around 5%. So we're really giving the species a little bit of an extra boost. An additional threat to coho salmon is lack of water during the summertime in the fall. And one of the main projects that a lot of landowners are starting to undertake is to develop off-stream water supplies that allows them to divert water during the winter and then not have to pump from the river directly. This will allow more water to stay in the river for coho, which is essential to their survival. As far as what you can do to help recover these species, fish need water. So always conserving water, being really careful about the amount that you use will allow more to be able to stay in the streams. All of the water that goes in the storm drains goes directly into the rivers. So trying to limit your amount of fertilizer Make sure no household chemicals end up down the storm drains will help keep these rivers pristine and clean for coho. Together, we can recover coho salmon along the north central California coast. Current restoration actions are putting us on the path, but the future of these fish depends on the choices we make now and in the years to come.